Welcome to Lesson 5, Differentiation. Today we are going to look at cup sketching. In our previous lesson, Lesson 4, and also Lesson 3, we learned about the stationary points. And we also learned about the nature of the stationary points. And we say that stationary points can be a minimum that will be like a trough can be a maximum like a hill it can be a point of inflection which is either increasing or decreasing like that so when we are sketching the curve an accurate drawing is not required so you will not take a graph a graph paper or a graph book and start drawing the curve the way we are used to normally however we need the main features of that curve just the main features and we have two main features. One of them is the stationary point. That one we know how to get it. And for the stationary point, you must also know the nature of those points. And the other one is the point at which the curve cross the axis. So the axis crossing. Both X and Y. Uh, this one you get by equating the curve, the function to zero. When, when the curve is crossing the Y axis, the value of X is zero. When the curve is crossing the X axis, the value of Y is zero. So we will be doing uh, or getting the crossing using that relationship and then we get the stationary point and sketch the curve let us take an example sketch the curve y is equal to x cubed plus x squared minus x. I want us to, to start with the second main feature, the axis crossing. Where does this curve cross the y-axis? When it is crossing the y-axis, we get the y-intercept. The value of x is zero. So you substitute x is 0 in this equation. So you will also find that y will also be 0. So it crosses the y, the y axis at the point 0, 0. Where does it cross the x axis? The, the x intercept. At the x intercept, y is 0. So we take this equation x cubed minus x squared minus x and equate it to 0 and solve. I have paused so that you try to solve. You can also uh, pause and uh, try to solve that get the values of x at which y is 0 we factorize x because x is common here we factorize x squared this was plus sorry. x squared plus x minus x minus 1 we will get 0. So one of the values here is 3x is equal to 0 because 
these are factors. X is equal to zero. Or x squared plus x minus one is equal to zero. This is a quadratic equation. You can solve using the quadratic formula, factorization, or any other method. Uh, the value of x using the quadratic formula will be given by minus one plus or minus square root of one. Uh, plus 4ac, 4ac will give you 4, because it's 4 times negative times 1, all over uh, 2. So minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 divided by 2. So you can get the square root of 5, and you will get 2 points. Uh, your values of x, one of them will be negative 1.62 and the other one will be positive 0 0.62. So these are the x intercepts 0, 0, minus 1.620 and 0 0.620. If you look at them, I have written them. I have not arranged them properly. I have started with zero. I should have started with negative one point six two because it is the one that comes first on the number line. So let us rearrange them properly. The three points: negative one point six two zero. That's the first point on the x-axis. Then zero zero. The next one followed by zero point six two zero. So it is important to arrange the points the way they appear on the number line, starting with the one which is uh, to the extreme left, then the middle one, then the, the last one. Because we are sketching the curve, that gives you an idea of how the curve is going to be. Let's go on now. After getting the intercepts, we differentiate this curve. We get the stationary points. So we get dy over dx which is equal to what? 3x squared minus 2x minus 1 and uh, half plus 2x plus 1 uh, good. Remember at the stationary points dy over dx is equal to 0 so we have 3x squared plus 2x is equal to 0 sorry, there's a minus 1 here is equal to zero. So this is again a quadratic equation. We saw the quadratic. We can apply the quadratic formula again. I prefer the quadratic formula. It is there. It doesn't waste time. So you can also run it and uh, it will save your time. So x is equal to two minus two plus or minus the square root of x square. Sorry, b square, which is four plus 4ac, which is 3 times 4, which is 12, all over 6. So in our case, we are going to have minus 2, plus or minus, this is 16, square root of 16 is plus or minus 4, all over 6. So we are going to have minus 2, minus 4, is minus 6, over 6, which is negative 1 or minus 2 plus 4 is 3 over sorry minus 2 plus 4 is 2 over 6 which is our that so the turning points are values where x is negative 1 or x is a that again arrange them this way the way I have arranged Negative 1 comes on the left of the number line, then other is on the right. So that you are able to see them uh, in, a, in, a, in a better way. You get the values of y, so you substitute x is equal to negative 1 here, and you get the values of y. You substitute x is equal to other here, and you get the value of y. So that your point is complete. When you substitute x is equal to negative 1, you will get y is equal to 1. 
When you substitute x is equals to a dam, you will get y is equals to minus 5 over 27. You can do that and confirm. So we have two turning points. We write them up here. Negative 1, 1, and a third, negative 5 over 27. I want us to determine the nature of these two points. The method that I taught you in the previous lesson is we differentiate this a second time. So b2y over bx2, we differentiate a second time, we will get 6x plus 2. Then we substitute x is equal to 1 here. Sorry, x is equal to negative 1. So when you substitute x is equal to negative 1, you get minus 6 plus 2, which is minus 4. Remember the principle from the previous lesson? If our answer to the second derivative is a negative, that point is a maximum. Let us substitute x is equal to a third here. A third times 6 is 2, plus 2, 4. The answer is positive. And as per the rules of the previous lesson, when you get a positive answer in the second derivative, that point is a minimum. So the curve has two turning points. One is a maximum, the other one is a minimum. And how does that curve look like? It touches the y-axis at 0, 0, so the curve will pass through here. It touches the x-axis at negative 1.62. You remember from the previous uh, work of getting the intercepts. And it touches the x-axis again at 0 0.62. Those are the points, the main one. It has a maximum at negative 1 x is negative 1. When x is negative 1, at negative 1, 1 here, there is a maximum there. And it has a minimum at x is equal to a dot and 5 over 27, somewhere here, to change. So the curve looks like a stretch letter n. It will move to, from this direction to a maximum. Then go to zero to a minimum and back and pass through that. So we have sketched. This is the point negative one one. This is the point add negative five one seven. This is zero zero. This is negative one point six two zero and this is zero point six two zero. So this is a sketch of the curve y is equal to x cubed plus 2x squared plus x minus x. Squared. The sketch, as I said earlier, shows only the main features. The intercepts for the axis, both x and y, and the stationary point, a maximum and a minimum. It is not a mass that the cup takes this nature, but ours has taken this nature. So cut is small, sketch more cups, and you will be able to know uh, or, or to, to, to perfect this skill of cup sketching. I want to give you an assignment of one question. Sketch the cup. y is equal to 4x minus x squared. Sketch that curve, go through the main process, get the intercepts for both x and y axis, get the stationary points and their nature, and then you try and sketch that curve. 
So thank you very much. Uh, as you try that, I wish you all the best. Enjoy the rest. <laughs>